In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a silk Kazar material from a single photograph with Substance Sampler. Substance Sampler captures fabrics in a very intuitive and user-friendly way. In general, when the task is to digitize existing physical fabrics, I prefer to use the following method, which I would sum up as using the image to material from single photo feature, then tiling, then processing it. On the other hand, I prefer procedural or parametric techniques when I have to make many variations or iterations where recreating on a structural yarn level from the ground up offers an advantage. More complex fabrics can be created this way, which can also have exposed parameters and therefore be more flexible. I will explain all of this in detail soon. So let's get started. In an empty sampler project, I drag and drop a photo of a fabric I took earlier. Sampler then gives me a choice of methods for importing that photo. I choose image to material and I turn on set physical size. This allows me to record the physical size of the sample, either manually or automatically. A manual measurement can tell Sampler how large the sample is. This is particularly useful for applying materials at the correct scale to models, as well as handling non-square samples. Clicking Import will tell Sampler to start converting the image to a material. In some cases, some manual adjustment is necessary to fine-tune the material. To do this, I select the image material layer and go into the options to adjust them. In this example, I increase the geometry details and the geometry equalizer and I set the delighting intensity to zero. The roughness of the material can also be adjusted, although here I leave it at the default. Please note that the ideal options will depend on the image and the material it represents. Next, I add a new normal height adjustment filter so that I can further adjust the micro details of the surface. I am adjusting the height first and then the normal to get a nice balance between the larger and smaller details. I then add an equalize layer to make the overall color of the material more uniform. This is especially important to apply when the original photograph was not taken in ideal lighting conditions. The lower the radius of the equalize filter, the more uniform the photo will become. It is useful here to increase the tiling of the texture in the viewer settings panel to make the seams more obvious, so that I can try to eliminate them more easily. Note that this kind of tiling is only temporary for previewing purposes and it does not get baked onto the material. To eliminate the seams, I add a tiling filter and I adjust its threshold blur, smoothness and grid resolution to get a better transition between the tiles. The exact numbers here are not important and the ideal settings will largely depend on the fabric at hand. Resizing the bounding box in the 2D view allows me to align the edges in a direct and intuitive way. Finally, I add a colorize filter to give my material a uniform color. Adjusting the luminosity and the color sliders will blend into the color more or less of the original image's details. Before exporting, I like to expose some of the parameters so that I can control them after applying the material to my model in Painter, Stager or any other application with a substance integration. Exposed parameters are a way to keep materials non-final and flexible even after they have been applied to a model. They can be changed at any time to create distinct variations on a material or to fine-tune its appearance. Clicking the pin next to the parameter exposes that parameter so that it is saved when exporting a material to an SPSAR package. 
when this SPSAR will be opened in another application, its exposed parameters will also be present. The exposed parameters window lists all of the currently exposed parameters in the material with their default values and allows for their renaming. The metadata window is another important window in Sampler. It allows for the recording of data in the SPSAR that can be read by other applications. This can be the name of the material, its description, its physical size, related tags, and even its physical parameters for cloth simulation in fashion design software like Clo. The finished material can be sent directly to Substance Designer, Painter or Stager or exported as an SPSAR or Texture Maps. SPSAR packages are saved with all exposed parameters and metadata created in Sampler. This concludes Fabric Capture with Substance Sampler. In the next video, I will cover procedural materials with Sampler.